Now today I did want to focus on Captain in the Air. Captain in the Air, let me see here. We have the actual hard copy catalog right here. I think he was number 271. If I'm not mistaken, well, he is. Funny how numbers stick in your head, right? Captain in the Air, so this is a Colt. I brought you guys a video in the, in the shed row today. I brought you a couple of videos of him jogging today, and you're gonna see him soon enough. We're gonna try and start getting some drone videos out for some people. We need to do it before we get to Harrisburg because as I said, it's imperative that we sell a lot of these shares out. This is the first time ever since the stable started where I can look and see a clear path to you know, wiping out the, the sale uh, costs as we head into um, as we head into the the fall and the winter of 2021 20, 2022 so this is captain in the air so a little story behind the call that wasn't clear in the video so here's how my god guelph has changed even since i've been gone i've been gone like six months none of this was here shoppers drug mart used to be over there so what's over there that's weird um captain so the, the scoop on Captain in the Air was this. I looked at most of the horses in the Spring Haven consignment. I did make a couple of notes on Captain of the Air, but the, the most important note I made for my own catalog was, can't afford this cold. Nor, I wasn't really interested in spending $50,000 on any pacer, um, let alone a Captain Treacherous, right? They're all going really high. Is there gonna be one slip through the cracks? I don't, I don't know, maybe. And I was ready for a pacer to slip through the cracks, but. You know, quite frankly, I was focused on buying Una Madonna, right? Alarm detector sister, I was a horn player. I was I was interested in assembling our, our field, putting our team on the field, so to speak. And, and um, Captain in the Air, although I did make notes on him, was not a, uh, was not a horse that was on the top of my list of things to acquire. I was sitting there, I was having a, having a drink with, um, a client to the side and uh, with Steve Plano and Amy and, and a couple of clients we were all standing there and I felt this tug on my on my shirt and it was uh, Sunine Atsy from Springhaven Farm she goes you're gonna miss a good colt here so I, I know where I'm at in the sale right I know who's coming up on my list but I look captain in the air I said yeah I said 20,000 uh, so he's in the ring they're bidding on him and and she goes um he's a really nice cold i said i know he's a nice cold i said yeah i said i'd have marked it 45 to 50. uh 20 20 20 20 she goes you know i i, I almost didn't come over but i know that you looked at him i know that you liked him and i, I know that he's worth more than this and she's right she was right about everything that she just said so I walk now. The bid spotter has just these bid spotters. I'm telling you, they're like seagulls. They miss nothing. He knows that there's just been an interaction between Springhaven, whose horse is in the ring, and me. Right? He saw this this whole thing. I can tell it out of my out of my corner of my eye. He's watching. So I don't even. I just turn my head towards him, and he's glaring right into my eyeballs. These guys are something. They miss, I'm telling you, they, if you've been to the Lexington Harrisburg sales, you've been to any of the sales, a lot of the same crews work the sales. These guys are something else. They work you over, but they miss nothing. So uh, I'm looking at, he looks right at me, 20, 20, 20, 20. I bid once, 22, 22. Now somebody wanted the Colt, 22, 25, 25. Now it was somebody that didn't have enough common sense to say 23, which I would have done, but 25. So I'm thinking to myself, I'm, I'm not, yeah, I, I had him at 45 or 50, but I'm not paying 30 for him. I just, I like the Colt. There's a rock and roll heaven. So rock and roll heaven wasn't a great sire, but a fantastic horse. There's nothing, to, there's no reason to believe that he won't be a good broodmare sire. There's, there's no reason to believe that. He has a brother, Sky Captain. I had made notes on this Colt. One, because when I was a kid, one of the nicer horses in the Maritimes racing in the open scene way back when in the 80s was a horse named Sky Captain. So I thought that was very interesting. I looked up the Colt. He showed some speed in his qualifiers, 26 and four in the end of it, 27 in the end of it, mile and 56, made two breaks and was kicked out in the field. Was he big? Was he small? You know, did he need time to mature? Did he hurt himself? I don't know any of this. 
I just know that there was there was enough there that piqued my interest. So he's at 25, 25. I know that I'm only making one more bid. They weren't taking one for 26. I already barked on. I said 26. He said 27. They're 27. I bid 27, uh, and it went on and on and on and on and on and on and on. And then finally the hammer goes down, 27. So even at 27, I could tell that Sanina probably wasn't super pumped. Probably wasn't super pumped that um, the horse only went for 27. But again, we had bought a number of horses off of Springhaven Farms. They raised their horses right. They're very good people to begin with. And uh, she was happy that we got the colt. So I got him home. Uh, got him home, put him in the harness. He's a good looking bugger. And the reason I, I'm, I'm doing these videos over the next few days is because there are some horses that should be sold out. Before in the past, I was okay carrying debt. I was okay carrying these horses into the winter, into the spring, because I knew that you or clients would buy them eventually. But I just, I don't want to do that this year. I would love nothing more than to head into Christmas knowing that I just have to compile money for Harrisburg. There would be nothing that would make me happier. And we're close. You know, sure, there are some money left over. There are some shares of horses that are going to be left over when we get to, you know, when we get to Harrisburg. I built that in. Like, it's not like I had a razor thin line to deal with. I did have a couple of dollars. You know, so I, I don't mind helping out when I can, but I, I would like to get these shares cleaned up. And this colt here, you can look in the videos of him jogging. You can look in the videos of him on the cross ties. This is after having him a week. You know, by the time Teresa spoils him and has him looking really shiny, poo, give me a really good looking horse. So again, first, uh, second full at a rock and roll Hanover mare. The brother showed speed, raced, raced at two. So that's always good. In the second dam, you have a Mach 3, uh, a Mach 3 horse. Now, this is very important. Pay attention to this because this means a lot to me. This is something I look at all the time. Mach 3 took a two-year-old mark of 53 and 4, 17 wins, a quarter of a million made. The next one took a mark by Racing Hill, nonetheless. Uh, took a mark of 153 as a two-year-old, 50,000 made. The next one by Artistic Fella, oh my God, 156 as a two-year-old. Then you look down in the third dam. This is where... You have to look to the third dam to get any brand names, but this is where they are. Vertical Horizon, mark of 57 as a two-year-old, went on to take a mark of 49 and three on a 5 8 mile track, $856,000 made. Lost in time. 2017 Dan Patch, two-year-old Colt of the year. A two-year-old mark, 150 and one. Went on to make $718,000 by rock and roll dance. The thing I like the most about this page is no matter where you look, there's two-year-old marks and money in here and wins in here. So this is a horse where he could be okay. Maybe maybe he's not. I don't know, and we won't know until next July. And that doesn't mean that doesn't matter if he's a trotter or a pacer. We're all gonna have to wait. This guy here is put together good. He stands straight. His conformation is really nice. His pedigree is is nice. It's kind of sneaky nice when I start looking at all these two-year-old marks. And even the artistic winner at two, dam of cliffhanger, 54 flat as a two-year-old. Don't fence me in. 52 and three as a two-year-old. The mystery is over. 53 and one as a two-year-old. We don't need to keep beating this drum. This is a two-year-old pedigree. A good-looking horse, put together really well. Big, chunky bugger. You can't not like this horse. I know there's clients out there that like Pacers. Every year we buy some Pacers, and every year we have people pick up the shares. Whether you like Pacers or you don't, or you're looking for a top-grade uh, pedigree, or you're just looking for a nice horse, this horse should check all your boxes. And I I, I really can't say anything negative about him. There are going to be some horses where I'm going to say, hey, he's towed out a little bit, he's towed in a little bit. You know, he may not be perfect, or she may not be perfect. A little long, a little short, whatever. This horse is put together just about as perfect as you could expect him and hope him to be. So, Captain in the Air is who we're talking about today. I'm going to send out two or three videos about him. I appreciate you guys taking a close look. I don't want to overshadow, overshadow Captain in the Air talking about Walk on the Moon's win or the Breeders' Crown for, for a three-point blue chip, the elimination that's so, so tough on Friday. I'm going to talk about that in another video. So, for today, it's not that I'm forgetting about anything. 
going on. I'm thinking about Duke D.O. Friday that I'm driving. I'm thinking about going to Ohio and driving yes on Sunday, shipping some horses back with me. Everything's rattling around in my head, but for right now, it's all about Captain in the Air. So if you have any interest, let me know. There are 15 shares there, but there were some shares that were held back for, for a group that may or may not want them. And, you know, I've told those people that I can't drag my feet forever. Harrisburg is coming. I have a deadline. I'm going to work to achieve that deadline the best I can, and I can only do it with your help. So, Captain in the Air, take a look at him for your viewing pleasure, for your consideration. Hip number 271, we purchased him. He's ours, he's broke, he's jogging, and he looks really, really nice. Take care.